Hi guys, so today we're going to have a go at Cine Stills C41 kit. Let's get started. <laughs> So because um, C41 requires much higher temperatures um, than black and white development usually does, um, I decided to grab uh, one of these sous vide um, machines off Amazon for really cheap, I think it was £25, I don't know, I don't know how good it will be but we'll see today. Um, this will just help keep the temperatures constant um, in a nice sort of water bath. And so I don't have to keep adding more hot water and worrying about it cooling down too much. The Cine Still kit, um, this is the the liquid form of it. There is a powdered version as well, but I thought um, this was the easiest one that I could get a hold of. Um, so it comes in two parts, A and B. So part A, which is all red, is your colour developer. And the second part, which has a little blue label, is then your bleach and fix bath. There is also a stabiliser as well, which is kind of similar to um, the photo flow stage um, of black and white development, though it is different. The stabiliser has agents in it, I believe, that help um, stop fungus and stuff like that and um, developing onto the, f the developed film. So I'm going to go and get everything I need and I'll see you in a wee minute. Okay guys, so I have um, everything that I need set out at the minute. Um, as you can see here, there's all the, the different bottles. So this is our developer, our bleach and fix and our stabilizer. So um, the kit comes with this nice set of instructions um, and also this handy um, developer card as well which we will use later. So the first step I'm going to do is the developer. We need 591ml of water and then we add developer A, B and C and the water needs to be at uh, 49 degrees Celsius or 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, it mixes it as well. Very good. This actually is working okay. Um, the minimum line though that it operates is just on the edge of the amount of water we need. Um, but it's heated it up to 49 degrees fairly quickly. Um, so what I need to do now is mix in part A. Gonna stir that. Okay, I think that's well stirred. So we're going to add in our part B. If that will go in focus. And then our last part for the developer part C. So for all of you that have watched this channel before, you know me. I like to put everything in the order that I that I do things. So we have our developer our bleach and fix and then our stabilizer in behind this here and um, what i ordered as well were these handy accordion chemical tanks and um, they're great for storing chemicals so you can compress them to get as much of the air out as possible which will mean your um chemicals should stay um better for longer hopefully that. And I just labeled this one dev. There we go. So I'll rinse this up and then we'll move on to the bleach and fix. Okay so for the blix, uh, bleach and fix um, it calls for 18 ounces of water and then the same as before we just add in each step one at a time. Okay, and part B. Part B I think is the 
the fix it has that very strong um, vinegar um, sort of acid smell very similar to um, the rapid fix or is it the stop no I can't remember <laughs> um, comment down below um, if you know uh, which one it is and lastly this very dark looking um, bottle uh, you definitely want to be careful with this you don't want to get any of this on your clothes or on your floor and again which is why you should definitely wear gloves when you're doing this There we go. And again, I'll rinse this off and then we'll just mix up our stabilizer. And then we should be one step closer to our C41 development. Stabilizer, um, according to the instructions, doesn't have a specific temperature that we need to mix it at. So um, it just calls for 30 ounces of water. And we just pour this in and give it a good mix. Now I believe this has something similar in it to PhotoFlow, but it also has some kind of anti-fungicides in it as well. Um, if you know anything specific about it, uh, please leave a comment below. I'd um, be quite interested to know what exactly is in this. And for this I just have a empty plastic bottle. There we go. And that's everything guys, so we have our developer, our Blix, and our stabilizer. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start a water bath, um, because according to this um, chart here, we need everything to be at 39 degrees Celsius. Um, so I'm just going to put some water in the, <laughs> the good old baby bath and let that heat up with these in it, all three of them and then I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get our film into the tank Sorry about the noise guys, so this is our makeshift water bath and um, so while these are sitting at 39 degrees we'll go and get started putting the film into our Patterson tank Okay guys, so today we have a new challenge this is a roll of uh, Lomo Lomography 100 120 film. So we'll not be using the standard 35mm uh, reel today. We will be putting on our 120. So wish me luck. <laughs> this is my first time doing this, so we'll have a go. Okay guys, so sorry I couldn't record that there. The memory card filled up, so... Um, I quickly transferred some of the files over and while I was doing that I got everything into the tank here. Now I thought 120 was going to be an absolute disaster but this has honestly been the easiest roll of film I've ever put into this tank. Um, I did have three rolls of this. I may sacrifice one roll just to show you um, how um, to load it onto your 120 reels. Um, also keep note keep these because they're very good spares. Um, please excuse the noise of the the water bath um, here, um, though most of this will be sped up anyway so not to worry. Um, so if we look at the handy wee development card that um, Cine still provide with this kit, and um, the first step is to do a pre-soak, which is kind of like our wash just before, like in the black and white stage, the pre-wash. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my tank and I'll just double check the temperature of this water. Yeah, we're sitting around 
3 degrees, which is good enough for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill this with water. And I'm just going to let that sit there for a minute. So that's been a minute. So I'm just going to pour that out. I'll just pour it back into there. Should have poured that out into into the bath, but that's alright. Then I'm going to take my developer, which is again at 39 degrees. I, I checked it there earlier. For the developer, we're looking at continuous for the first 10 seconds, and then four uh, agitations every 30 seconds. I'm just going to hold it. So, 30 seconds. Get ready to pour this back into my developer solution. This is going to be difficult. So all I did was I rinsed, uh, I filled and emptied the tank seven times at around 39 degrees and um, water as well. So the final stage is to just add our stabilizer. So I'm just going to, it's, the card says to um, fill the tank and then just agitate for the first 15 seconds and uh, leave it for around half to uh, 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, so now it is the moment of truth. That's how we look. Now, I'm not overly confident with this, but we'll see. Okay, so we've got images. It, this was uh, really a practice roll, um, there's nothing fancy on here. Let's get these hung up and have a look. So that's them hung up to dry guys. Um, you can see it looks like there's a little bit of a light leak just here. Um, but it's fine everywhere else. Now I have no idea if these look good or not. Some of them look really well, they all look kind of very dense. Um, I've never done C41 development before. Um, I know on these there's a few um, double exposures, definitely, um, just with the nature of the Lubatel camera. Sometimes you forget to roll on to the next frame. Um, I might make this just one episode today. Um, so what I'll do next is once these are dried, I'll get them cut up and put into the scanner so we can have a look. Okay? Just a test roll um, that I took out with my Lubatel um, 120 format camera. Um, what I did notice with this kit, the stabilizer, I don't know, 
I find when I was um, processing a lot of the images on the scanner and in Lightroom there was a lot of um, streaks like water um, marks I think next time what I might try is just to add a little bit of extra photo flow in with it as well and um, I've never had that problem with black and white before so I'm guessing it's just that it takes a little bit of photo flow in with it but if you've ever had that issue as well guys let me know and um, like I said I've not had that with black and white so it's definitely not my water or anything like that I don't I don't use distilled water um, with my black and white and that's not an issue but anyway guys so I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're new to this channel and I will see you again on another episode take it easy